Animal Rights in Islamic, Christian and Jewish Sharia, Law Part 2 Chapter 2 Animal Right in Islam When the Right to Walk in the Paths Imam Abu Isaac Ashirazi was once walking on a road in the company of some of his disciples, and when they saw a dog, a disciple of Imam Abu Isaac scared it away but the Imam prevented him, saying, Don't you know that the road is shared between me and it? To the right to talk to it politely, Imran bin al-Husayn, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that. While the Prophet made the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him was on a journey, there was a woman of the Ansar, the inhabitants of Medina, riding a camel. And she felt bored from the camel, because the camel was slow in walking, whereupon she cursed it. The Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, heard this and said, Take off all what is on its back and release it, as punishment for the woman who cursed it. For it has been cursed, thus because the woman cursed it. Sahih Muslim 3. The right of not being sexually harassed. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, May the curse of Allah be upon whoever has sexual intercourse with an animal. Al-Hakim It is worth mentioning here that the Independent and Daily Mail newspapers published on the June 9, 2016 one article that stating that the Supreme Court of Canada has ruled that there is nothing wrong with sexual exploitation of pets by their owners as long as there is no penetration. For the right of caring for it and protecting it from getting lost, Ali bin Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I saw Umar Ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, jogging I said. O leader of the believers, where are you going? He said. A camel from the camels of charity got strayed and run away and I am searching for it. I said. With such act you are doing now, you have made the responsibility of governing the Muslim nation to become heavier on any caliph who will come after you, after they will hear how careful you are. For the Muslims money and the money of the charity. He said. O father of Al-Hassan, do not blame me, for by the one, Ayala, who sent Muhammad with the prophethood. Were a young goat to be taken, stolen or encounter any harm, on bank of the Euphrates River, Umar would be held accountable because of it on the day of resurrection. Ibn al-Jazi, Manika pp. 161. Dawud bin Ali said, Umar may Allah be pleased with him said, If a lost sheep under my care were to die on the banks of the Euphrates, I would expect Allah the exalted to question me about it on the day of resurrection. Abu Nu'aym, al Hilya 153. 5. The right of not be burdened with works beyond its capability. Abu Uthman Athakafi narrated, The Caliph, Umar bin Abd al-Aziz had a worker who was working with a mule. Every day the worker was bringing to him one dirham as gain from the work. He came one day with one and half dirham, about which Umar asked, What happened today, i.e. from where you got this extra half dirham? He said, The market was good today, and there were a lot business and work. He said, so you have exhausted the mule today, hence, make it rest for three days. Reported by Abu Nu'aym in Halayatu as Salihin. It is reported in the book, Ihya Yulam ad din that Abu Ad-Darda, may Allah be pleased with him, said while he was dying to a camel of his. O oh, you camel, do not complain from me to your Lord Allah in the day of judgment. Indeed, I have never burdened you with any work beyond your capability. The Caliph Umar bin Abd al-Aziz, may Allah have mercy on him, wrote to the governor of Egypt. It has reached me that in Egypt are camels used for transporting goods, and that they are been loaded with thousand, one thousand pound of weight. Hence, when this my letter reached you, I don't want any camel to be loaded with more than six hundred, six hundred pound. Surat Umar bin Abd al-Aziz, according to the report of Imam Malik bin Anas and his companions, by Abu Muhammad al-Masri pp. 141. It's the right of not taken as a chair. Muad H bin Anas al-Yuhani, may Allah be pleased with him, said. Once the Messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, passed by a people who were sitting on their animals, he said. Ride them while they are in a good health and leave them in a good health, and do not take them as chairs for your conversations on the ways and markets. For might a riding animal be better than its rider, and glorifying Allah more than him. Ahmad, and authenticated by Al-Albani in Sahiha 21. The Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said. Don't take the backs of your animals as pulpits, for Allah has made them subject to you only to convey you to far towns and places which you could not have reached without great hardship. And he made the ground for you to fulfill your needs, so conduct your business on it. Had a sahi, 
reported by Abu Dawud 7 the right of not being psychologically tortured. ABD Allah bin Masudi, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Once we were on a journey with the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and he went to answer the call of nature. During his absence, we saw a bird with its two young ones, and we took its two young ones. The mother bird was circling above us in the air, beating its wings in grief. In the meantime, the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, came back and said, Who grieved this for its young ones? Return its young ones to it. He also saw an end village that we had burnt. He asked, Who has burnt this? We replied, We. He said, It does not befit anybody to punish with the fire except the Lord of the fire. Dot. Had a sahi, reported by al-Bukhari in al-Adab al-Mifrat, ate the right of not being physically tortured. Jabir bin Abd Allah, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated that the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, passed by a donkey which has been branded, a brand made by a hot metal with which the owner identifies his donkey, on its face and he said, may Allah curse who branded it. Sahih bin Hibbin Jabir bin Abd Allah, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, prohibited beating the animal on the face, and branding on the face. Sahih Muslim Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, curse the one who mutilate, I doubt he by cutting some of its limbs such as nose, ears while it is still alive or even when it is dead except for using as food an animal. Sahih al-Bukhari the Prophet said, The merciful people are shown mercy by Yaraman, the most merciful, Allah, therefore, show mercy to those who are on earth and the one who is in the heaven shall show mercy to you. Sahi, reported by Abu Dawud. 9. The right of not being used as a shooting target. Sayyidi Ibn al jabir may Allah be pleased with him, said, Ibn Umar happened to pass by some young men of Quraysh tribe, who had tied a bird and were shooting arrows at it. They had agreed with the owner of the bird that each arrow that they miss it would get into his possession. As soon as they saw Ibn Umar, they scattered away. Thereupon Ibn Umar said, Who has done this? May Allah curse who did this. Verily, Allah's messenger, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, has invoked curse upon whoever takes anything that has a soul as a shooting target. Sahih Muslim Tend the right of not being killed without a reason. ABD Allah Ibn Amr reported, The messenger of Allah, May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said. There is no person who kills a sparrow or anything larger for no just reason, but Allah, the Almighty and Sublime, will bring him to account regarding this. It was said, O Messenger of Allah, what does just reason mean? He said that he slaughters it and eat it, and not just cut off its head and throw it away, i.e. he killed it for playing, dot dot. And Nasai and Al-Hakim. 11. The right of leniency with it, giving it food and water. The Messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Once a man suffered from thirst while he was walking on a journey. He found a well, and went down into it, and drank water from it. On coming out of it, he saw a dog panting and licking the ground because of excessive thirst, so he said, This dog is suffering from the same state of thirst as I did. He climbed down into the well, filled his shoe with water, and caught it in his mouth as he climbed up. Then he gave the dog to drink. Allah appreciated his good deed, so he forgave him. It was said, O Messenger of Allah, is there a reward for us in serving the animals? The Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Yes, there is a reward for serving any living being. Sahih al Bukhari. The Messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, A woman entered the hell fire because of a cat which she had tied, either giving it food nor setting it free to eat from the vermin of the earth, until it died. Sahih al-Bukhari Saul bin al Hantalia reported, Once the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, passed by a camel whose belly was sticking to its back, because of hunger, whereupon he said, Fear Allah in regard to these animals who cannot talk, to complain about their hunger or thirst. Ride them while they are fit, and eat them when they are fit. Dot. Abu Dawud ABD Allah bin Jafar bin Abi Talib reported, Once the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, entered a garden of a man from the Ansar, the inhabitants of Medina, and he saw there a camel. When the camel saw the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, it started weeping tenderly producing yearning sound, and its eyes flowed. 
The Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, came to it and wiped its head, so it calmed down and stopped weeping. The Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, then said, Who is the owner of this camel? Whose camel is this? A young man from the Ansar came and said, This is mine, O Messenger of Allah. The Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Do you not fear Allah regarding this animal that Allah has put in your possession? Verily it has complained to me that you keep it hungry and load it heavily which fatigues it. Yat. Abu Dawud. The Messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, No Muslim plants a tree or sows seeds, and then a bird, a human or an animal eats from it, but is regarded as a charity for him. Sahih al-Bukhari. It's been reported that Uday bin Haddam was cutting the bread into small pieces and giving it to the ants, saying, They are our neighbors and have right over us. Reported by An-Nawawi and Tadhib al-Asma. 12. The right of loyalty towards it, Umran bin al-Hasan reported. A woman from the Ansar, the inhabitants of Medina, and al-Adba, the she-camel of the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, have been captivated, when the polytheists raided. The Pasturing Animals of Medina the two hands of the woman had been tied with ropes. The people, who captured the woman, used to leave their camels in front of their houses for rest at night. One night the woman could to untie her hands from the ropes and hasted towards the camels. Whenever she got near any camel, the camel started to make noise, so she left it until she got near al -Adba. It did not make any noise, it was docile and experienced. She rode upon its back and drove it away and she went off. When they, the polytheists, learned about it they chased her, but they couldn't catch her. The woman vowed to Allah that if he saved her on this camel, she would sacrifice this camel, giving its meat to the poor people. As she reached Medina, the people saw her, and they said, Here is Alaba, the she-camel of the Prophet. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Then the woman told them that she had vowed that if Allah saved her on its back, she would sacrifice it. The people went to the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and informed him of what happened. Whereupon the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Subhan Allah, glory be to Allah. How bad is such a reward she wants to reward it? She vowed to Allah that if he saved her on its back, she would sacrifice it. A vow to do an act of disobedience, towards Allah, must not be fulfilled nor a vow to do something over which one has no right or authority. Sahih Muslim Al-Maswar bin Makrama reported, Al-Kaswa, the she-camel of the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, knelt down while the Prophet was on its back. The people said to it, Go on, go on. But it didn't respond to them, so they said twice, Al-Kaswa has become stubborn and refused to walk. Such phrase is considered as insulting towards the she-camel. Like if they say that it become disobedient or has a defect, but the Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, answered them, defending the fame of the she camel. Al Kaswa has not become stubborn, and that is not a characteristic of hers. Rather, she has been restrained by he who restrained the elephant, the elephant of Abraha al Ashram who came to destroy the Kabye, and Allah made it to kneel down and to not move. Sahih al Bukhari. <laughs>